So, how did this video come around? Well, I've been doing quite a bit of pike fishing this winter in basically all weather, absolutely freezing, Baltic conditions. But this one particular day, um, went to a big reza, pulled up in the car, and it was seven o'clock in the morning, pitch black, looked in my car, minus four, minus four it said on the temperature. So that day, we uh, set, set up fishing and then the, the fog rolled in and basically it never went above freezing that day. It was Baltic. It was, it was probably the coldest I've ever been fishing uh, because I had, had no umbrella or bivy or anything. It was just it was just freezing. So what happened is I pulled out my um, gas canister and went to make a brew and the flame was pants. So basically it took ages to boil and basically had a lukewarm brew and just wasn't very nice. So, so I had a quick I had a quick look on the internet and to be honest I didn't know but Ridge Monkey had brought something out um, which is very similar. So Ridge Monkey had brought a disc out and I think you get the the um, cover, the canister cover and the disc for 20 quid I think it is and the, and the disc fits in there um, fits inside your cover and then you plug it in um, you can get them on eBay just the disc because I know a lot of people have the covers I don't use them but a lot of people have the covers for when they're carping overnight fishing and so if you just want the disc you can get them on eBay for four pound fifty or something like that the only thing is they've got like animal prints on them for the for kids I think for cups but you don't need to buy buy that from Ridge Monkey. Just just get yourself one of them for four pound fifty. Um, exactly the same thing. Five watts. They're only they're only powered by USB, so they they're not any more powerful than Ridge Monkey ones. So get yourself one of them discs. The reason I didn't go for the disc is because I don't have the cover for it to fit in. But also, if you look at the bottom of a tin, it it's concave, is it? So I was just thinking. It's not touching the metal, all of it, the, all the surface area. So what I've done is, for the same price, four pound fifty or sixty, I've got this off eBay, and it's a it's called a heater pad or heater cloth. If you put in if you put in USB heaters, you'll you'll get both. You'll get the disc and you'll get these come up, and you get different sizes. So this one was four quid odd. And if you look, it fits, well, two-thirds, two-thirds around the gas canister. So the plan, the plan is, like, I'm going to get a couple of loom bands, because I've got loads of them. You've probably known in the other videos. A uh, couple of loom bands across it there, and then just plug that end into... I've got a couple of these to take with me fishing for phones and stuff, only little ones. Uh, I'm going to use that. So I'm hoping, because the pad is in direct contact with the canister, it's going to be a bit more effective. Uh, I think it says 60 degrees, it eats up to, but I've not tried it yet. So what I'm going to do is, tonight, uh, well these have been out all last night on purpose, on the bench outside. Tonight is going to minus two after tea time. So I'm going to leave them outside and then tonight I'm going to go, go outside, put the pad on, I'm going to click the burner on, they've just got a little one that fits on top, it's only five quid off eBay, another eBay purchase. So I'm going to screw that on, um, see how, put it on full belt, see what the flame's like. And then I'm going to put the pad on, the heated pad, and then um, leave it plugged into my charger for a minute, try the flame, if it's not any better I'm going to do that every minute. And I'm going to see if it makes a difference. I'm hoping it does, I've not tried it yet. Not even, it's only come a couple of days ago, not been fishing yet. So I'm just hoping it solves the problem of when these get cold. Because it is a bit of a pain when you're pike fishing or you're freezing overnight and you can't have a proper brew. So I'm going to wait till tonight, about five, just as it's going dark because it's to minus two. I'm going to give it a try. So catch up with you later and we'll, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, it's £4.50 down the swanny, but not much, is it? Right, catch up with you later. 
Right, it's about half an hour before dark and for the last next 15 minutes I'm just going to stick the canister in the freezer. Well, it's in the freezer there as you can see. So I'm going to give it 15 minutes in the freezer as well. It's been zero degrees now so I'm just going to take the temperature down a bit more. So I'm going to leave it in the freezer now and then take it out and let's give it a try. It's quarter past five now. I've just took the canister out the freezer. Uh, it was in there about 30 minutes. It's absolutely freezing and the weather's zero degrees. So it can't get much harsher conditions than that. So I'm going to put this little heater to the test now and um, basically see if it does anything, if we're wasting any money or not. Right, straight out the freezer. Let's see how good the flame is. Right, that is on full belt, the canister is fully open and the flames pretty naff. So I'm going to plug it in now into the heater, leave it for a minute and see how good it is. Right, about five minutes has passed, let's have a look what's going on now. I think that's better. Right, let's try again. About 10 minutes has passed now in total, so let's fire it up and see if anything's happened. Right, another five minutes has passed. I'm just going to fire it up again and see if there's any difference. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to take the canister in the house, warm it up to a decent temperature and see how good it actually burns then because there's absolutely nothing in it, there's next to nothing in the can so it's not, it's not going to be the best anyway. So I'm going to warm it up now to a decent temperature and just see how much better it is warmed up and then compare the results. Right, I've just had the can soaking for a few minutes in hot water and warm the can up now. Let's see the difference now. So, do I think it worked? Yeah, I do actually, after watching um, the footage back. Um, I, I don't think you're going to get a massive flame from nothing. It's not going to change it that much, but I think it'll make a difference. When, a when it's a really cold day or night, I think it'll be the difference between being able to use your cooker and not. Especially as the, the canister gets emptier and emptier. I did try it last night um, with a full canister. I stuck that in the freezer. Um, stuck it on my burner and lit it and it was it was all right anyway so it's not going to make any difference to full canisters but the emptier they are the more help they need and 
I think it just it just raises it a few degrees and it just makes the canister usable in really cold conditions. So I'd say go and get one. If you've already got one of them little pouches what you put your canister in, the canister warmers, I would just go and buy one of these or get the disc type and try that. It's only the same as the Ridge Monkey one, so save yourself a few quid, spend £4.50 and go and get yourself one.